Hajj today has become so comfortable. It's so comfortable. People, I just can't believe them. They get an express flight where people used to go to Hajj in nine months, they go to Hajj in 12 hours. From door to Jiddah, 12 hours. What did the guy do? The guy just packed his bags up. He carried his bags down the stairs into his X5. Yeah. And then he drove to the airport. That's all he did. He just drove. You know how comfortable it is to drive. You know what I'm saying? He's got all the heat, temperature, everything, cruise control. He went all the way to the airport or he got dropped off. He took his luggage out to a trolley. Oh my God, must have killed his back. And then he just rolled the trolley to put his back suitcases inside. He then had a Starbucks, he had something else, and he sat down on the plane. And the next minute he knows, he dropped off, he dozed off, he did whatever, he read a magazine. Next minute he knows, he's in Jiddah. And then he had to pick his bags up onto another trolley. And then the Five Star Express came when he got to his hotel and they just rolled all his luggage up the lift into his in the bedroom and they just put it there. Allahu Akbar. And then the guy complains. The guy says, oh man, this is tough, yara. Bus is both tough, hai, yaar. Garmi lag nahi hai na. Garmi lag nahi hai. The guy's feeling hot. When people used to make nine months, they used to travel by their, on their feet. They used to take their own animal all the way to Hajj to sacrifice it. They used to go part by their horse, some by camel, some by ship. And they used to walk and walk until they got to the Kaaba in nine months. This guy gets there in nine hours and is complaining. And you know what they do? Oh my God, these guys, yeah. The minute they have a little bit of, you know, it moves from five star service to four and a half star. Yeah, four and a half stars. Lollipop! Comes up. He says, Ore, huh? You cheating me? Cheat me? Take 5,000 pounds from me, huh? Huh? And the salon you give me? Huh? It doesn't have enough salt inside there? What kind of service this is, huh? Well, guy, listen, mate. Listen, sabar ya haji. He goes, and the thing is, you know what? He goes into the haram, yeah? He goes around, right? He finds going around the Kaaba on the marble and up on Safa Marwa, yeah? He finds, oh my God, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. You know all that cherubi cherubi inside him? Basically, he's getting burnt off, isn't it? He's getting burnt off. The guy's sweating a bit and he's finding it tough. And then, you know, he gets blisters under his feet. It's true or not? He gets blisters. And when he gets blisters, he comes in the hotel room like, like he's Frankenstein, just about walking inside. Yeah? Oh my God. Oh, it's, oh man. Get in my, give him a bath. Oh, these blisters, yeah. Oh, bus, yeah. I can't wait to get back, yeah. Can't wait to get back, yeah. This is tough, yeah. This is tough. Hey, bro, you haven't even seen Hajj yet. What are you talking about, bro? You haven't even been to Mina yet. What's Mina? Bro, you know Mina, yeah? You know, you go to the toilets, yeah? Everyone missed the hole. You serious, bro? Everyone missed the hole. What are you talking about? Yeah, bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you know, you go, you have to clean it proper. You have to hold your nose. You have to hold your breath. Oh, yaar, please, yaar. Is there any five-star hotel there, yaar? Oh, bolo, yaar, any five-star? You can't get, you really? I'll pay anything I want, man. Well, you know, it's the sunnah to stay in Mina. I said, he goes to Mina. He goes to Mina, man, the guy's complaining. Left, right, center. He's got air-conditioned tents. Air-conditioned tents. He's just sitting there. He don't have to do nothing. All he has to do is just do dhikr of Allah. And all he's doing is looking at his watch. So basically, they said they're going to give food at, let's say, 6.30, 7 o'clock. The food gets delayed half an hour, the guy's tantrum starts coming up. You know that kid inside him? Like a little vampire. You know when the moon comes out? Oh! When the situation changes around him, he turns into a little monster. Now that monster in him, in her, is still inside. And when the monster goes back in, when he's satisfied, he's got what he wanted. 
ਕਿਆ ਲੈ ਜੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੋ ਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਬਸ ਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਸਾਬ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਠੀਕ ਹੋ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਥਿੰਕ ਔਰ ਆਟ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਹੈਪੀ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਹੀ ਹਿਸ ਸਟਮਕਸ ਫੁੱਲ ਹੀਸ ਗੋਟ ਹਿਸ ਫੂਡ ਹੀਸ ਔਰ ਆਟ ਹੀਸ ਫਾਈਨ ਇਫ ਹੀ ਡਸਨਟ ਗੈਟ ਹਿਸ ਫੂਡ ਇਫ ਹੀ ਡਸਨਟ ਗੈਟ ਵਾਟ ਹੀ ਵਾਂਟਸ ਹੀਸ ਗੋਨ ਟੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਅ ਬੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਐਜੀਟੇਟਡ right he goes to arafat he goes to the, he's he's sweating he just wants it over he he's going right now he has to go and throw all throw all the stones all that he's got blisters he's got you know other you know he's putting vaseline down there putting everything else down there to try and make it all soft and whatever yeah and he's killing him he has to wear his ihram he has to cover his you know downstairs you know what i'm saying like it's a lot of things that's going inside his head he's thinking man got to get back got to get back and he has just done the most comfortable hajj you can imagine but the guys complaining mm-hmm.